Donnie Hamming asked me, hey, Daniel, can you create 80 style computer text in Filmora? Absolutely, Donnie. Stick around. I'll show you how. Shall we play a game? Oh, snap. Hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell to be part of the conversation. This is a fairly simple effect to pull off. What you want to do is go into the upper left of Filmora 9, click on your Titles tab, and let's find some text to use. I'm going to type default into the search bar and grab the default titles and bring that down into my timeline. Let me stretch those out. Now these default titles will start with no animation and just be white text on a standard black background, but if you want to change that, you can grab the text in your timeline, bring it up to another track, go into the upper left and choose sample colors and bring a color down underneath your text if you want a different background color. I'll stick with black for now. Now for the text itself, if I double left click on that in my timeline, in the upper left, I can change the text that's actually typed in. It defaults to your title here, but you can backspace that out and change it to whatever you want. One thing I want to do is change the color of this font, so I am going to change it to a greenish color. Now you'll see as you type out words, it starts to fill that screen. I actually want to make sure that the text aligns as I move forward. So in the upper right preview window, I'm going to left click on the left side of it and stretch that out almost to the edge and do the same to the right. Now the thing about that old school computer text is it always seemed to have that blinking line that would wait for you to type in your very first character. So to create that, I'm just gonna hit the underscore tab on my keyboard, and that will give me that single green line. Now the font I wanna use for this is just something I found online that was called Pocket Calculator. It has that old school computer calculator look to it that we're used to seeing. Now the first thing I wanna do is I wanna get that little line to flash, so I'm going to stretch my timeline out as far as it will go, and I'm gonna pick about five frames or so and slice my footage. I'll go about another five frames and slice it again, and in that second section, I'm going to delete that underscore line. So my first section has that line, and my next section doesn't. Now for the moment, I'm gonna get rid of everything else for that text area. I'll left click on that and hit delete, and now I just have these two. Now to create the flashing effect, I wanna left click on the first segment in my timeline, hold the control key on my keyboard, and then select the second segment. Now they're both highlighted. If I right click anywhere in there, and I choose copy, I've now made a copy of both those segments. I'll line my playhead up right at the end of the second segment, and I'll right click and hit paste, and it'll paste both of those in. A shortcut to paste is to hold the control key on your keyboard and hit the V key. You can do this really quickly and add a lot of sections in a very short period of time. Now if I go back to the beginning and you look in the upper right preview window while I play this, it will appear like that little underscored line is flashing, waiting for text to be applied. Let's take this very last section and stretch it out a little bit. I'll left click on that in my timeline, and in the upper left, I'm gonna start by just putting my name in. But I'm going to do it one letter at a time. Let's start with the capital D in my name, Daniel, and after that, I'm going to add the underscore. What that underscore does is it creates that look of another character waiting to be entered like those old school computers. Let's stretch out the timeline, and I only want a frame or two of each letter. So I'll move two frames ahead from where this begins, I'll split it again, I'll left click on that in my timeline, and now I'll add the A with the underscore. I'll move a couple of frames forward, I'll split it again, I'll left click on the next section, I'll add my N and the underscore, and then just keep repeating until I have my name spelled out. Now, if I wanted to pause there, all I have to do is move about five frames forward again, split that footage, move another five frames, split the footage again, and let's get rid of everything on the end. I'll take this first section and I'm going to remove that underscore. I'll left click on that in my timeline, I'll hold the control key and click on the piece of text in my timeline right after it. Now the last two are highlighted. I'll right click on those, click copy, move my playhead to the end, and then hit paste. As I said before, I can hit control V and do this much quicker. Now when we replay our footage, it'll look like the computer is waiting for something to be typed in. My name types out, 
and that blinking bar appears right after it, waiting for the next character. Try this trick at home and let me know how it works out for you. And if you want to learn more Filmora tips, tricks, and techniques, click on the video on screen now or the other ones I'll pin down below. Peace.